Okay. We have uh, joining us a communication and leadership strategist, Dr. John, one of our regulars to help do the papers this morning. Dr. Good, good morning. Good morning. Nice morning. to see you. Pleasure. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. Now, let's start with the Punch newspaper now. Uh, we have killings. Buhari meets Benway leaders today. And Fuladi herdsmen are killers, not victims. Taraba government is saying that. And Benway Taraba government's sponsoring militias says, Miyeti Allah. Hmm. Oh. This is taking a new dimension. Uh, honestly, really? and um, you continue to think the last time I, I, I came here, I talked about uh, my expectation when President uh, Buhari was to take over power. Mm. And I was expecting him to solve the problem of insecurity majorly. But how are we solving the problem of Boko Haram and the other ones are cropping up and we, 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 are, not, uh, uh, we are not decisive about it? Mm. It's quite alarming. If you look mm. at the population of um, uh, the, the Katu in India, it's over 300 million. I think they are the largest in the world today. If they are killing mm -hmm. themselves the way we are killing ourselves now, but we will not hear of India. And mm -hmm. you, you, you can even talk about Brazil. You can talk about China. Brazil, Brazil is doing uh, over 200 million cattle mm -hmm. that they have. And they are taking care of that. Those are countries that have been able to solve the uh, cattle rearing problem. It wasn't even a problem. It was not a problem. It wasn't a problem. It was a problem. And and these countries that we are talking about are not even first world countries. Mm -hmm. So they have the capacity to manage what they have. And now we are talking about uh, developing the economy th through agriculture. Mm. Is this how we want to develop it? Yeah. Using one sector to kill the other? Mm. Because when cattle come into my farm now, they destroy me, they destroy the plant. Mm. Well, the, the, the real it, question well, is, the, are we really fighting a herdsman um, war? Or is there more to it? I was listening to a former... Uh, Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, mm. uh, Lafia Obadiah, Obadiah Lafia. Lafia. and he was like, "Look, there is there seems to be some kind of international uh, conspiracy because he has not heard anything from the international community uh, condemning uh, the herdsmen attacks mm. uh, or even responding or saying anything at all." How well, much? Uh, how much? How much have you heard from your own country? Okay, well, we do not need <laughs> now. It's, it's a problem of inconsistency. Mm. I am not saying all these people, of course, they cannot be all Fulani headsmen, mm -hmm. but because they know that, okay, because of the, of the demeanor of government, that the government is not coming out as, as decisive mm -hmm. as they came out during Boko Haram. Yeah. Who knows that some of these Boko Haram people are coming under the, under the flag of headsmen mm -hmm. to, 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 to perpetrate the whatever they, they're Because carrying they know out. that the government is not as decisive mm -hmm. on headsmen as it is on the other people, Boko Haram remember by, the case Boko of Haram by another name. the other time. Mm. You remember, yeah. the government was decisive and the man was taken out. Exactly. That's why the fact that they were caught orders here and there, the government disobeyed court order, orders because Even they now. They wanted to maintain mm. peace. Mm. Even exactly. now. All right, we have uh, this disturbing uh, bold picture here of uh, one of the planes uh, skidding off the runway. Mm -hmm. uh, this is in Turkey. Yeah. And uh, it was said no one was Thankfully, uh, nobody died. No one was, was nobody hurt. Nobody was so, even uh, hurt. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Federal government buys five more aircraft to fight Boko Haram. And this is from Pakistan. Yeah. Um, mm. we, we, we know that we must continue to raise the tempo mm. as far as fight against terror is concerned. But again, we need to be strategic. And in mm. strategy, you do not um, paint the picture of paying attention to one aspect mm. of either economy or security mm -hmm. and leaving the other. As we are buying yet to fight Boko Haram, let's also put our brains together mm. and fight headsmen and exactly. fight the, the other threats. Well, the government has apart. said they are going to get about $1 billion from the uh, excess crude account. So we mm -hmm. hope <laughs> if that goes through. If that, that will help. solve the problem. I would, from the punch. Well, the nation is reporting killings. IBB, Oyedepo, Bakari demand action. Mieti Ala asks for justice and compensation. Justice, but, but <laughs> now Mayati Allah is saying, Look, we are the victims mm -hmm. here. Mm. And you recall just last week, uh, the federal government said we've not done enough for the health. You, you see, um, again and again, they say all animals are equal, and some are more equal than others. That is, that, that is how it's looking now. And it, I, I must, we should look beyond the 2019 election. Mm. I don't want us to do anything because we want to win election, I want us to do everything because. We need to save the lives of the people. Mm. The fact is that any government that cannot protect the life of the citizenry, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, but it's not Dr. a government. But Dr. You know, in all fairness, uh, a, video, a video went viral two days ago or yesterday, no, mm. I think about two days ago, 
where some cattle, some people attacked some cattle and killed. In fact, it was cattle were flat on the ground, dead and all of that. So the point there is, in, in some quarters, it seems also that there isn't much report on the attacks on herdsmen sometimes, if there is. Now, I totally believe that there's mm. no, there are attacks on herdsmen but they are product of the action of the headsmen. If I am sure that the government is going to protect me, I will not need to go and somewhere and, and, mm. and be protecting myself because it is certain that the government is going to protect me. Well, but but is, it, is, it, is it possible, Dr. Ono, that the fundamental issue is there is a failure on the part of government in not providing security, whether for, for the headsmen side. or for the farmers mm. or for the ordinary mm. citizen There's of Nigeria? There's a total failure of government. And when you talk about the issue of insecurity, maybe because of our experience in the Northeast, we just look at it as a Boko Haram issue. Mm. In my community, for example, in my state, I pay due to get security men to secure me at Where night. Where is that? In, in Lagos here. And virtually all the estates in Lagos here mm -hmm. pay one kind of deals or the other. Yeah. It shows that there's a general security breakdown. Mm -hmm. But that's not even where I'm going. Where I'm going is very simple. If I'm certain that, okay, the government is going to protect me in my farm, mm. I am not going to look for cutlass to, 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 to defend to, myself. To defend yeah. myself. Mm. And the second aspect of it, because they, they talked about uh, cast, um, uh, cattle rustling, mm -hmm. they also talked about it because... I know that people from my community, for, for example, will not go into cattle rustling because the best they know in agriculture is chicken. Mm. So it is a man who knows something about the business that will go into cattle rustling. Into of course, there have been mm. rumors that, um, so especially in the case of Benue State, that some uh, leaders have been arming militants uh, and all of that, and maybe we're just you know, facing the fallout. Okay, let's move away from the herdsman a uh, bit, still staying with the nation. 2.8 trillion naira project, road projects ongoing, says federal government. Is that something to chair about? Yeah. Executive NURTW, that's the National Union of Road Transport Workers, chairs uh, murder verdict soon. Now, Nigeria versus Rwanda, we know what's at stake. That's talking sports. Falano told the federal government, release El Zak Zaki mm. now. Can, can, can we talk <clears throat> about the good news of the road construction? Yes. Because since this government uh, came on board, they've been trying to at least fix some major roads. Mm. Mm. And what I'm very happy about is the fact that some of these roads did not start with the administration. It shows that they have shown Nigerians that beyond political difference, that government is a continuum. So mm. if we continue at this pace mm. and we are not giving up, I think, do you... Do, sh sh do you I'm surprised that people talk about HIV, for example, the, the, the Global Fund is giving us money to tackle the issue of tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, mm. and uh, malaria. Yeah. But, they are not, uh, but in, if you put the number of deaths that have been recorded by this three, um, this thing, it's not mm. up to the deaths we've recorded on our roads. On the roads. Mm. So we need to fix our roads. Yeah. As quickly as possible. As too. quickly as possible. Okay, let, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's move to the Daily Sun now. Uh, Benny Killings, Bakari hates federal government, alleges complicity in massacre. Insurgency looms, warns Oyedepo, and uh, bloodshed must stop. IBB is saying that, and President mm -hmm. meets Benue leaders today in, in Abuja. Abuja. Yeah. Now we have a picture, a bold picture of uh, returnees from Libya. Uh, the, the, mm. the, the last re the, those who returned last night were said to be the largest number oh, of people yeah. To, yeah. to return at the same time, mm. about 560 of them. Now, um, the government is bringing these people back mm. home. And with its perhaps actions and inaction, the government is driving more the people out of the country. I was watching TV with an illiterate woman, mm. an illiterate in the sense that mm. it doesn't follow what goes on in Nigeria, yeah. and was saying, ah, I can't continue to stay in this country. Wow. It shows that such people, if they have the means, the opportunity, they are going to, the opportunity, mm. they are going to get, out, get out of this country anyhow. So we must continue to pay attention to the welfare of the people if we really want to keep them in this country. Mm. I cannot blame some of these people because everything is not just looking at like it's going to work. And the tales of war and death um, along the path of these uh, refugees still not enough to discourage it's Nigerians not, from wanting to leave the country. It's not in enough South because Africa, when Niger you compare... South Africa, Nigerians are being killed every day. I mean, there, was, there were reports just... Uh, uh, only recently about Nigerians being killed. And it, what does uh, a li Nigerian life really mean to this government? 
to and governments down uh, the line. Uh, it's, 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 it's all leaders generally, not not just about this government. Because yeah. the point there is, we've seen these things happen in the past where government is not really coming out to say we need to stop this or uh, the action against mm -hmm. it is not as much. All right, let's go on. Uh, um, okay, uh, the headsmen demand killers arrest. We've, we've seen that before. And then armed forces remembrance. Mm. Atiku Wiki others make case for ex servicemen. Uh, uh, today is Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Yeah, 15th of January every mm. year. Is yeah. it just a cycle that we ritualistically observe? Well, Do we really a, a value lot, our don't, uh, but fallen a, a, soldiers? A lot, a lot goes on into uh, raising funds to, to help them and, and all of that in support mm. of uh, those who are risking their lives and laying down their lives for the... And who have died who since, have died uh, and yeah, so for decades you, now. You, you know, I come from, I, I have said it repeatedly, mm. I come from a family whose um, which profession is actually military and paramilitary. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you what, just last year, I lost about three of my uncles either wow. in one point or the other one in reverse and all that. And I can tell you what their families are going through. Mm. They are going through a lot. We cannot meet the demand of the family. Mm. And they are suffering. Many of them cannot go to school. And that's what is happening around the country. Once somebody is serving the nation and he ends, perhaps, fell by the bullet, that's, 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 that's the end. That's of the end. Mm. So that is why you, even, you drive the road of Nigeria and you see a policeman that is trying to wave you down and trying to make money at all costs. Mm. Why? Because he needs to secure his future. Yeah, now. Right now. Because so there's nothing to, to look forward there's to. There's nothing to so look forward to. So what does that really mean for the average young Nigerian? I, I'm sure, how many young Nigerians actually know the significance of marking January 15th? No, um, no, no, um, no, 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 so many. I've, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of uh, very young people sometimes come to ask, what, what, what is this thing? What, what is this thing you have here? Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me explain to you. This is the emblem of the armed forces, and they, we use it to remember those who have fallen, those who have mm -hmm. died, soldiers who have fought for this country one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay. Oh. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so like you anyway. said, not much seems to be done about their families. Yes. Um, Ah, funds are raised every year. Mm. Funds are raised every year. Every but year. We, where, you, where do those funds go? No, to? if you look at the amount of funds, in, in all honesty, mm. raised every year, and the number of people that need this fund, you discover that the fund is actually insignificant. Yeah. So it cannot totally take care of them. Nobody wants to go into the military now in Nigeria. Mm. Only mm. few people want to go into the military with their eyes open. Mm. People go into the military, they go into paramilitary because there's no job There's anywhere. no option anywhere. Not there's because they're passionate not, not, about Not because they're passionate or they're the, driven the, by patriotism. Demands, yeah. Look at what uh, Bakari said the other time. Mm -hmm. um, on a, you know, he talked majorly on unemployment, security, and um, economy. Yeah. If you look at um, unemployment, for example, it moved from under, I am not even going to compare this government with another government. Mm -hmm. Because no government in Nigeria has done excellently well when it comes to employment, generation, and all that. Yeah. In every way. In every way. Mm -hmm. Now, he moved, I'm using Buhari to compare Buhari, he moved from 14%, I'm talking about unemployment, to about 80 point something percent. Mm -hmm. If you put unemployment and underemployment together, mm -hmm. under Buhari, it moved from 30%, from 30 point something percent yeah. to 40%. 40. So what are we saying? And the Minister of Agri will come and tell us that, oh, that agriculture, has agriculture has provided a lot provided. of jobs. I said, that is the truth. I'm not saying Agri has not provided, but let it be captured under the national statistic. Mm. If it's not there, then you're lying. Then, then exactly. it's not there. All right, that's the daily Okay, sun. all right. Uh, finally, from the vanguard, stop all senseless bloodshed. That's IBB warning the nation there. Lalong apologizes to Otom, uh, withdraws offensive remark. Of course, uh, uh, Lalong... Uh, did say that he had warned uh, Tom not to go ahead with the open uh, the, with a ban the, the, on the, the, open the, grazing, and he's taken that back. Uh, says, I'm truly sorry for comments on anti-open grazing law. Yes, headsmen in fresh attacks, PDP urges Buhari to visit Benue. Mm. Of course, Mr. President still has not visited uh, Benue, but would must underscore the fact that uh, Interior Minister Dambazao, uh, of course, he was in rivers following the yeah. rivers and killings. And the President is going to meet with some stakeholders today. Today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mieti Allah, they've been numbering the, the number of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, numbering the number of people of that, that, that have died. <laughs> 1,000 people have lost their lives so far, according to Mieti Allah, and 2 million cows have also been lost in this uh, herdsman uh, farmer's clash. Electricity, the high cost of living in darkness. 2019, don't run, restructure Nigeria, Bakari tells Nigeria, uh, tells, tells Buhari, Buhari, and court nullifies 
appointment of interim board of nine mobile. Now, uh, which uh, one is of interest to you very quickly? Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me talk business. I've talked virtually every other day. <laughs> let me talk about nine mobile. You cannot expect an organization to invest as high. I think um, the organization, I don't want to mention the name um, mm -hmm. to sound like an advert, invested about 35 million dollars into Etisala, mm. and suddenly Etisala voted and said they left the country. Mm -hmm. And the CBN and, also, and the NCC did not consider the investment of some of these people into Etisala. They quickly constituted the board because they want to, they want to sell it. Yeah. Sometimes we need to be strategic. You need to bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. Because either we like it or not, Nine Mobile is still, is still maintains its position as the third largest net, um, network, network provider in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And there's no market in the world. I say there's no market in the world that is as good as a, a communication market in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. as so lucrative. As lucrative. Yeah, over yeah. 90 million Nigerians. Yeah. Out make of a lot of money People in make phone calls mm. without restraint. They make phone calls without thinking. In fact, it is in Nigeria you call, you call your home, your village, for instance. You call, Mommy, how are you? How are you? Fine. Okay, fine. You finish speaking. Is Daddy there? Let me speak with him. Is Uncle there? Let me speak with him. Is Look, Auntie there? Let me speak with him. The fact is, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, the norm elsewhere is totally abnormal here. Mm. The, the mobile lines have become the conservative line. Mm. <laughs> and you have one person owning like four different lines. Exactly. It doesn't happen anywhere else and in the, the world. They credit all of them and <sighs> they make, make phone calls with all of them. When okay, people ask me okay finally, do we have time for Mr. and Mrs.? Mr. and Mrs., it's a Monday. Okay, what are Mr. they saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. I said your food will be ready in 20 minutes. Are uh -huh. you talking to me? And, and you are shouting. <laughs> what will you accuse me of again mm. if people ask you? Eh? Don't want job. <laughs> 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 okay, Oga says, I'll, I'll tell them it's domestic, domestic violence. violence. Domestic <laughs> violence. <laughs> All right, Dr. Thank you so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure, thank you bro. So much. All, All right. right. We'll take a short break now, and uh, when we come back, we'll be talking about the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. It, today is the main D Day yeah. of the Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Nigeria. We'll be talking about that shortly. Stay with us.